Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, welcome to the Sean and Sack Show. Um, this is probably hard for Adam. Like, we're already talking, and he has to cut it all in and figure out where the starting point is for this thing. I would just keep it all in. Hey, we're going to catch you up really quick because uh, Bryce, uh, who's our good friend and the illustrious producer of our show, illustrious. we can call him producer, right? Are you a producer? You're, you're an executive producer. <laughs> I feel I fucking cool. bougie right now. That feels bougie. I have an executive producer. Can I put producer. that on my bio? <laughs> producer. Can I put that on my bio? Do you produce? I have. No, no, no. I have an executive producer. Yes. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean Whalen and Saxony Whalen, and we have an executive producer. Just so you know, this show, it is a big deal. We are so fancy. We're a big fucking deal. Anyways, babe, <laughs> I digress. Um, we were just talking about sex before we came on. This is not the topic of the podcast, but Bryce was like, well, you guys should be talking about this. Saxony and I had some incredible fucking sex the other night outside. We sure did. Under the stars. And we were discussing how sex under the stars is amazing. Yeah. Like not in a tent or camping or whatever, whatever. Flat out, like completely fucking naked, blanket <laughs> in the grass, uh, um, on our back deck. We have neighbors and I'm fairly certain fairly certain between me walking out every morning naked on the back deck singing the praises to the almighty grateful for another day and you and i having sex on the back deck there are, is a high probability that there are photos and or videos <laughs> floating around the oh God, interwebs <laughs> of that and, <laughs> and that's all we have to, say, to that. say about that <laughs> anyways we were just talking about it and i wanted to start the podcast off with a strong recommendation and a very strong encouragement for all of you to have sex under the stars. Period. End for of story. sure. Unless for my sure. daughter's listening to this, which don't have sex under the stars for another 10 years. Period. <laughs> or any... Uh, I'm not going to go down that road. Anyways, guys, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, it really welcome. is good. Babe, you're kind of speechless right now. I am. I, I mean, it was a good night. Don't get me wrong. I keep like, thinking I, about the bullet in the chambers comment, and I just don't know how I can... What do you mean? I, I'm just still absorbing that. What, which one? <laughs> What do you A mean? About the sex tape conversation, the oh, celebrities. It's and true. I, I know. I'm just still processing. Okay, so what, now you opened uh, up another can. <laughs> Let's talk about this. So we were joking about, um, I don't know what, how it came up, sex tape, or we were going to make a sex tape or some shit like that. How did it Maybe come up? Maybe we've made 100. Well, we, who knows? Yeah, Anyways, who knows? Um, we were talking about sex tapes, and I said, tell name one celebrity that has ever had like, their the demise after a sex tape was released every single celebrity that i can think of that had a sex tape be released either purposely or inadvertently or maliciously their their fucking notoriety goes up their fame goes up their everything goes up tell me one celebrity that had a sex tape come out that yeah. it like ruined their life and so i told sax they said hey you know let's put that bullet in the chamber let's make a sex tape and if all of a sudden you know, I just become irrelevant on social media and nobody likes oh our podcast God. anymore and we everybody hates <laughs> us. Our neighbors don't like us. Let's just fucking float our own sex tape out there. I don't think we'll ever get to that. I don't place. either. I think but, we're okay. But li that's a very good idea. How is this not a good idea? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a good marketing strategy. Do you know how many people would listen to our podcast after that? Do you know how many fucking, like, downloads okay, we would get i would love you guys to comment and share if it's this is sound business think, friends <laughs> listen if your life sucks if business sucks if you're just feeling really stagnant make a, make a sex tape and float it out there and see what happens <laughs> high, high float, probability floated out there i don't even know what's <laughs> high going probability on. you'll get kicked out of your church your parents and your family will disown you but i'd be willing to bet that you'll probably your kids make some... will probably be bullied at school oh well yeah. wait that would be a whole nother conversation that would have to happen <laughs> for them to even know so maybe not Jesus maybe Christ. the kids would be fine Babe, we digress. We digress. Okay, we should do. we do a podcast now? Yeah, I think this is a good podcast. I think this is great. Um, yeah, this mom, is just a this well, is just a grab bag. How did, how did my how did my life turn to shit? Well, I listened to the Sean and Sack show, <laughs> and they said to make a sex tape. We did, and then all of a sudden, our fucking we got fired from I, our I jobs. Our parents disowned Saxony us. Whalen does not condone this. You really advice. don't. I, okay, okay. Let's. There's an asterisk that I think making okay, we don't a sex tape sounds fun. Yeah, let's make one for us though. We don't have to release it. <laughs> okay, so then here's the next question. <laughs> Fuck it. We're already talking about this. Now, see, if it's we no make fun because now they know though, we haven't made one. I built it into maybe we've made a hundred. Well, we kind of do have some we videos do. and pictures. We have videos. Just not like 
professionally produced <laughs> tripod shit. You Are know? you going to be the executive There's, producer never, of our yeah, porn no. channel? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. We we don't have Bryce like a, might have a another we don't have job. a tripod like at the foot of the bed, but we definitely have some videos. So fuck, I just lost my. Is Adam gonna edit? What was this? I gonna say? This will be. We're gonna no, have there a is only no re- editing. real close relationship. No, there's no editing. You gotta have put in some like groovy music. No, don't you? We'll just have it playing. And in like the background. you have to have switching camera angles. We'll no. no you you're, do. You're way overthinking this. Have you? Do, have I you want, made one of these before? No. Okay. I've seen one. God Almighty. What, how, what was I going to say right before that? <laughs> I fucking forget. We're supposed to be talking about getting your um, hormones checked. In. Well, just... your hormones seem to be fucking God. fine. So what are mine? I think that that's why we should wrap. We should just circle back. We were going to talk about getting our... our. Let's talk about this. Should they we? go hand in hand. Let's, no, let's do talk it. about this. Let's like, do like, it. Let, let's talk about the whole... <laughs> let's talk about this because you and I are very... All right, we're going down the rabbit hole. Can we go down the rabbit hole? Good. Fuck it, we're going to like you and I are very, very open sexually. Okay, yeah. you go to your Instagram, my Instagram. I mean, I haven't done any boudoir shots, shoots yet. You have. We are planning on doing one together. Mm-hmm. We're planning on doing like our. It's gonna be like softcore porn pictures. For real. Really? Who's yeah. gonna shoot that? Ginger, <laughs> Casey. He'll fucking blush the whole I time. I thought you wanted the Infinity guy. Oh, Rob. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know if he does those things, but whatever. I bet like, he will if he gets to see me. We 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 talk openly about this, and I think it's worth a note uh, as we're on the conversation about sex and relationships, and being open, and being adventurous, and being exciting, and being willing to have sex any place, anytime, anywhere, anyhow, on the back deck, in the backyard, in the car. Yeah. Like like talk about that for a sec, babe. Um, it's excellent. <laughs> I was my brain right before you said talk about this. I was just like, we still have to figure out how to have sex in the Lamborghini because that's like, that's a tight squeeze when you're a tall, big uh, guy. Yeah, we're uh, we're working me. on that one. Um, in, in on whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, I do. I love that we are so open and excited to just show up in every way, shape, or form to have sex with each other. It's it's really. It's like my you see, favorite you see how thing. Stump she just got. I know. <laughs> What's up with that, dude? Like we're over here talking about sex. You just got stumped. I'm not stumped. Why? Because I was. Why are you blushing? I was. <laughs> you're listening to this right now. Because so you know, our freaking sh- our air conditioner's broken, guys. So if oh, we're we go. extra glossy, that's what's going on. <laughs> I'm just greasy, and I just came from the gym, so that's my that's excuse. True. But I'm not. I think you got a little flustered when we started with the. Uh, I did. S e x conversation. I did. Why? Um. Because <laughs> I don't know why. Honestly. Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, so what would you say to wrap this conversation up then? How would you wrap this conversation up then, babe, with sex? Um, my recommendation is, is to stay open and have fun and be playful about sex with your partner. Because there's so many new ways to have sex and explore that and i feel i mean i'm almost 38 years old and i'm still figuring out you're welcome cool things you're welcome (laughs) what i like teacher oh my gosh what i like am i not can i finish my sentence sean whalen go ahead (laughs) good i need a little ego validation i need (laughs) my ego validated (laughs) answer me woman (laughs) tell me that i am the man (laughs) carry on i married you you're obviously good in the sack Go ahead, I would finish. not sacrifice in that area at all. Oh, you you leveled the fuck up <laughs> big time. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> yeah. Have fun with it. Yeah, that Be wasn't open. this is what happens when you're you have a thought process around a podcast and then all of a sudden you're like and you switch gears and go a different place. Yes. These are the good conversations though, babe. This Absolutely. is why most of these should be unscripted and we should just turn on the mic and start talking. Because it always ends up being good. True, it's a fact. So you need to get yourself. Our com- you need to get yourself ready for the sex conversation. That's what you need to do. This is very apparent here. It's been exposed that when we switch gears and start talking about sex, you kind of clam up a little bit. We're gonna have to work on this. <laughs> okay, dear. <laughs> okay, uh, we did want to talk about something though. Yeah. <laughs> Blair Price is like, uh, do I need to leave? Like, it's getting kind of uh, interesting here. We wanted to talk about something because this has been in our space. Um, 
in, in addition to sex and having sex in the outside, uh, the last uh, couple months specifically for you um, and me, but you specifically, uh, because you went down the path and started feeling crazy in your body and your hormones and your mind and all this other stuff. Um, and then you went and found a hormone specialist. It's the same gal that I use um, for my hormones and testosterone and the whole thing. And we've been talking a lot about this. And this is something that comes up frequently, not only w for me with men and coaching with men, mm -hmm. um, but it's been a lot more apparent recently with women. Um, and what we're talking about is, is literally the self-care and, and, and getting yeah. your blood work done, getting your body checked. There's, there's this weird stigma around this. And, I, and I'll say this simply because um, after my last Ironman um, back in 2016, um, I was like, I was training for this insane off-road or not off-road, but uh, endurance race of doing literally an Ironman. And my body was like completely fucking wrecked. I was like gaining weight. I was doing six hours of cardio a day and I was literally not leaning up at all. I was getting like fatter. I was like chubby fat. It was the, the weird like runner fat. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like there's no fat. muscle, the whole thing. Fat. Cause I was trying to get my cardio up. Anyways, I did my Ironman, and afterwards, um, I had never gotten my blood work done. I'd never checked my blood work. I didn't know anything about testosterone, really. I mean, everybody knows what steroids are and this ginormous, like, conversation around mm -hmm. steroids, and you just look at some big muscle head and think, yeah, he's on steroids or whatever. Um, to make a long story short, I went and got my, my, my blood work done and did, like, a full panel with a hormone specialist, and my testosterone le level was under 150, which typical for a man at my age was, like, seven to 800. And so, how did your dick I, work then? What? How did your dick work? I still then? had sex. I still got it up and had sex, but it was like my body was fucked, my emotions were fucked, my mind was wrecked. It was nowhere what it is now. Like, trust me, when I started testosterone, dude, I wanted to fuck five times a day. It was like out of control. Like, <laughs> let's put a preface on this right now. We're gonna fast forward to that part of the conversation, <laughs> fellas. If you go from zero to getting your testosterone in check, like. Don't be surprised if you're like wanting and ladies hear me like do not be surprised if your man wants to fuck like five times a day period. It is wild. It's wild what happened. But anyways, babe, I wasn't you, around. Then, thank but you for it sounds going. like an exciting time. Well, it still is an exciting time. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Um, I, 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 I went and got my blood work done and it changed my life period. It, and, and since then, it has become a very, very, very intricate part of my health and wellness not just going to the gym and eating right and whatever, but literally understanding that my body is like a human Petri dish. Like I am testing things, levels are going up, going down, I'm getting older, things are happening, things are not happening. Like this is something that's really not talked about a lot. It's not, it was never taught to me to go yeah. do any of this stuff. Yeah. You, you think about blood work and this is for, you know, uh, professional cyclists or professional athletes or top tier athletes. And what I'd have you consider men specifically, um, is that as you start getting to that 35, 38, 40, 42 year old range, statistically, a lot of men's bodies stop producing testosterone, whether it's because we have adrenal fatigue and we've been running a million miles an hour, drinking 100 cups of coffee a day, drinking Red Bulls and rock stars and monsters, not sleeping enough, whatever it is, like naturally our body stops producing testosterone. And that's just not your dick stop work, like stops working. Oh, no. That has, that's not just like all of a sudden you have no sex drive. That's one of the many, many, many factors mm -hmm. that come in when you stop when you don't have testosterone in my in my case i literally wasn't burning like any like my body was literally getting bigger as i was doing more and more cardio sure. like i literally wasn't able to process proteins the way i was supposed to i was vitamin b vitamin d deficient so i went and got everything done and literally for the last six years it has become a a, a quarterly thing for me to go in and get my blood work done to have yeah. my levels checked to have my testosterone checked, to have everything checked, my, my uh, cholesterol levels, like literally everything. And we wanted to talk about this because this is something that has been in your space heavy in the mm -hmm. last month. Yeah, specifically. A, lot of, a lot of our viewers have messaged me. But a lot. yeah, and I wanted to just, before you talk on, on your side and what you've done, I want to strongly, strongly, strongly encourage every single man and woman listening to this, specifically mm -hmm. you men, 
to go and get your blood work done. And it's it's not hard. There's a lot of mail-in companies nowadays that you can Google it. Yeah. But I would strongly suggest you find a hormone specialist, a hormone doctor. Mine is a woman. Like it, Nikki's it, here in Utah is a woman. And she has a clinic. And most of her clients are men. She works with women as well. But she does male hormone you know, work, which yeah. is testosterone, vitamin deficiencies, all kinds of other stuff. Um, and it is absolutely changed my life from an energy perspective, from a mental clarity perspective, um, from a, from an attitude perspective, uh, without question, my body has changed a great deal. Um, it, it makes the, my workouts significantly more effective. Um, my sex life is incredible. I mean, real talk, we can blush and we can, you know, giggle and shit about this, but the reality is like, you know, a lot of men, we start going downwards as you're getting into the the 40 year old space, like energy goes down, mental clarity goes down. You get frustrated, you get fat. You're not burning calories the way you did at fucking 20 years old when you could eat 5,000 calories a day because you were playing college football. You got the fucking gut, you got the man tits. Like you're not where you want to be. And a, a very, very, very intricate part of you ensuring your endurance through life, Mm -hmm. ensuring your sexual capacity, your mental capacity, your stamina, just being a good fucking dad, just having energy when you're not coming home, you know, being a fucking asshole, but just being able to have the energy to coach your kids, to be up, to to be able to do the things that that you want to do energetically in life, looking good, feeling good. Mm -hmm. It is an intricate, intricate, intricate part of my foundation in right. ensuring that I know where my levels are, ensuring what's going on, and literally having a doctor and a healthcare professional who manages all of that stuff for me. And as far as like the the investment goes, what's your health worth? Yeah. Real talk, what is your health worth? I pay $400 a quarter to be a part of this clinic, and it is a men's clinic, um, the same thing. And I get my blood work done. I spend on average about $250 per panel so that's $250 per quarter. So $1,000 a year to get my blood work done, to have all the results, to have the entire fucking panel. And then literally like the same way you would have a business coach who would come in and say, you know, let's up this, let's down this, let's tweak this, let's move this. I'm sitting there with a professional looking at it saying, and her asking me, how are you sleeping? How's your yeah. sex life? How are your boners? How's your mental clarity? How's your stamina? You know, all of these other things. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling kind of sluggish or I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And it's literally just tweaking and, and, and maneuvering different things around. And it has absolutely changed my life. There, there's no, I mean, I'd spend $5,000 a month sure. on this. Like fellas, like hear me for two seconds. <laughs> like there is nothing more valuable than your fucking health and well being. If there's anything that you should be investing in right now, it's your body. Yeah. If there's anything that, that you should be spending your time and your energy and your money understanding, it's your fucking body because that's where your relationship with your significant other comes. That's you being a father. That's you being a business owner. That's you being a leader. That's being a, con- a good son, being a contributing member to society. If you mm-hmm. fucking fail and you can't get out of bed and you're an angry, pissed off dick, mm-hmm. how the fuck are you going to do any of these other things? So right. that's my rant, my yeah. tangent on it. And, and I couldn't. I couldn't say this any more powerfully than if this is not something you're doing right now, literally like the second you shut this fucking podcast off, Google it, find somebody, get in, get your blood work done, get this thing going. Right. Yeah. And so part of my backstory is, is I have always been into checking my blood work and looking at, you know, how can I better? How can I better? Like I had a doctor, my primary care doctor a couple of years ago is like, I got my blood panel and he, you know, I'm like, asking him every question of like how do I how do I get better this how do I get better that and he was laughing that I'm so competitive even with my own blood work but I still then going to a traditional primary care doctor I didn't get the answers I didn't I had a blood panel but I didn't get hormones checked I didn't get things and the thing is is you have to be your own advocate medically yep. when you show up to a doctor so I realized a long time ago that we're going to traditional insurance taking doctors is it doesn't, doesn't work, work for me it that's what i did i did i went to our, our pediatrician who's our mm-hmm. just been our family doctor for years and it didn't work no it doesn't work for me because the truth is is i believe and you need to treat the mind the body the spirit all of it <coughs> it's all connected so if you're so focused on just the symptoms you're missing the source right and so i've now navigated in my life to find doctors that treat source or they get curious to find the source. Um, I went to your 
hormones doctor recently yep. and then I even took it a step further and started working with Dr. Gabrielle Lyon um, she's spectacular um, I met her at a women in business event and I just clicked with her and she's wonderful and she's even dug further into things and what's great is well not great it's not really great but I knew I had a condition called PCOS and many viewers probably have had this or, ha or not have had this have this it's something that doesn't necessarily go away it's pulmonary or it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I knew 10 years ago I had this because I used to have them burst and it was horribly painful and, and all this jazz. Well, I didn't know that that doesn't go away because my OBGYN was like, oh, you have that, just do this. You know, just take out your IUD or whatever. I don't remember what he said 10 years ago. And come to find out from now having my blood work done no this is a condition that you have and it comes with all of these side effects like insulin resistant you know what being insulin resistant does to your body uh, it wreaks havoc do you know and um it causes all these other things that lead to like depression or whatever and then i found out that i have you know uh, this place that we did the work they do a genetic test to see if you can if your body can absorb vitamin b like that's brilliant, right? Oh, wait, come to find out I have that defect. And so now I have to have a methylated B. These things is you can say, you know, or you can know, take your vitamins. But if you have a genetic yep. defect where you don't absorb them, it's not working. And so, you know, come just these little tiny things. So now, you know, these guys put me on a medication that helps with being insulin resistant. And I dropped like seven pounds in two weeks. And it's because when you're insulin resistant, like that's just the, like that's a side effect. And these these little things. So if you're, you know, like, if you're going to the gym and you're doing all these things and you're not, the results are not showing. There's probably an underlying issue. And this is what was with me is, I told the doctor I said I should be leaner and fitter, based on my lifestyle than I'm showing, and that's when I knew. And I was sluggish and I was, you know, um, irritable. Irrit irritable <laughs> yes I was irritable um, and so all of these things knowing that like there is an underlying source but you have to get yourself an, a aligned with doctors that are that are also willing to go deep with you yeah I, I want that to be kind of the moral of this and you know your your symptoms my symptoms this deal that deal whatever whatever mm -hmm. um, you know a normal pediatrician a normal family doctor is not going to know these things no um, no, no. And so you going now, and you haven't had blood work done in a while, right? A couple years. And so mm -hmm. getting back on that track as you start feeling out of whack and yeah. then going to Nikki and the whole thing, which by the way, guys, we'll put, Bryce, we, we'll put the uh, links to Gabby Nikki and, Nikki. and Gabby, mm -hmm. who are our doctors. Yeah. Feel free to reach out to those guys. They're fucking rad. Tell them we sent you. Um, um, it, 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 it's a game changer, period. Yeah. And, and I wanted this conversation to be around you know, not specifically my stuff or your stuff mm -hmm. or what you're doing or what I'm doing, but recently, you know, you were out of, I mean, just straight up, you were out of whack. You didn't feel good. Your mm -hmm. body was bloated. You blah, 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 all these yeah. things that you were acknowledging. I was sad and I knew it didn't, I, I had no reason to be sad. Right. And know? it was, it was a lot of, and, and, and a lot of times we find, I find in working with people and having a lot of clients, like we're just kind of muscle through it, grind mm -hmm. through it, go sure. through it you know, get a good night's sleep and you'll be fine tomorrow. And there's a lot of times that just works. Like just suck it up, you're having a shitty day, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But if you're noticing something like with me where I'm like, yo, I'm doing six hours of cardio a day and my body is not fucking responding to this shit, yeah. something's up. And when you're like, I'm a pretty happy person, but I've kind of been off for like a month and my body's not right, my mind's not right, there's gotta be something bigger. Guys, like you can muscle through it and sleep it off and meditate and, and do all your hippy dippy manifestation shit, but there might be a very, mm -hmm. very, very real need for you to go in and get your blood drawn and check out where you really are because you, you made a really good point. Um, there are There is a very real practical understanding of vitamins of your body 
you know, we live in a day and age where you just walk into Walmart and there's a multivitamin and you just grab yeah. it. No. And and there has been, and I'm not going to go down any one path with any one supplement, with any one, mm -hmm. you know, reality, but I will say without question, I'm smart enough to know that it's not a one size fits all deal. And there is a lot of shit out there. Yeah. There are a lot of things in, in the marketing world to, that would have you believe that their product is this or this or this. I mean, you go down, go look at these fucking, uh, slim fast and these other weight watchers fucking meals and shit like that like the the you you read packaging nowadays of of food and it look it's protein and it's this and fiber to and and it and it makes you it seduces you into this is healthy and then you mm -hmm. read it and it's not even fucking real chicken really? it literally isn't even real chicken it's not real food yeah. it's manufactured processed chemically induced food i'm not going to go off on a tangent on this but it's the same thing with vitamins. It's the same thing with minerals. It's the same thing with nutrients. Yeah. And every single one of you listening to me is completely different than the next. Yeah. And so, I, you know, I wanted this conversation to, to strongly encourage you guys based off what we're doing. Again, take mm -hmm. it for what it's worth. This is what Sean and Sachs are doing is going in and, and getting a very, very, very detailed self check and self care plan sure. for you not because Even mom does this or your neighbor your neighbor takes this vitamin and that might be great for them and it might suck for you your body might be needing something completely fucking different but this isn't hokey pokey stuff right. and this can't be i want this to be i want to say this very very like adamantly this can't be like down the list of your fucking priorities no. mom and dad like this can't be well i'm busy or in the fall or next year or whatever whatever like your fucking health and wellness is paramount over everything mm -hmm. there is nothing more important than this there is literally nothing more important than your fucking body i mean think this through for two seconds if we're not heading in a direction where we're getting younger and 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 more like like more vitality we're getting older our bodies are starting to respond differently our, our joints are responding differently if you don't take your health and wellness seriously you're a fucking idiot and i promise you at some point in time you're going to pay at some point in time you're going to pay you're going to have to pay financially because you're sick you're going to have to pay emotionally because you can't fucking get out of bed your dick doesn't work you're depressed you're all over the place like this is a very real thing and and i'm at i, I i'm very adamant about this conversation because I was never programmed this way. I was never taught this way. It was just muscle grind. Here's your vitamin. Take your vitamins in the morning, kids, and just keep going. Mm -hmm. And that shit is, is without question an absolutely terrible, destructive way of, of marketing and of leading a population to believe that this multivitamin is good or this is good or that is good. And and it's a it's a really, really, really scary deal. Yeah, one of the supplements that I noticed the biggest aha was was with fish oil. Yep. So I've been taking the big Kirkland brand fish oil, which I'm sure a lot of people do because Costco just has them it's there. It's right there. It's They're easy. It's cheap. It's Come to find out that I would have, that if you're looking at omega-3s, and I'm not a doctor, this is just this is what I noticed, is I'm supposed to be taking a certain amount of DHA, EPA. Those are the omegas that matter. The rest don't matter, right? So when I got the 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 note this is how much fish oil these are the d this much omega-3s in those areas you need to be taking i would have had to take 10 fish oil capsules those massive capsules mm -hmm. from from the kirkland brand to 10 get it, right. to get to that and i'm like that's marketing in itself is mm -hmm. who the hell's gonna swallow 10 fish oil? i mean they're hard to swallow anyways yep. but it was one of those that was a big aha for me so then when i went to get the supplements i realized like there are there's a massive spread in low quality because it's full of fillers like right. what their costco has been doing up and then the, the brand that i'm taking now just these little things to be conscientious of yeah. same with you know it's like the vitamin d that i was taking now i take it in this liquid form that i put it on my tongue and it's like it's methylated and it's either the b or the or the d or the i don't know there's two that i take one of them is methylated and it's the quality matters yeah and honestly, it probably washes out to the same amount of money if you think about <laughs> 10, 10, 10 of those versus, to two, right? Right. And so that's just something to look at. Obviously, like your doctor is going to, when you get when you get this blood work done, they're going to give you a, a course of action. Like you're going to have a, both doctors that I worked with gave me a whole breakdown of exactly what to take and when to take it. Right. And one thing I wanted to say is ladies, like they put me on testosterone. They, so if you, I know that's a male hormone, but it's a feel good hormone. It's a, um, it has a lot of amazing things. So if you're even, 
you know, there's like there's like this there's a spread and uh, that's normal. I was on the low end of the normal. And my doctor was like, let's just put you on the high end of the normal because that means it's like I'm not necessarily super deficient in it. But if we have a, a you know, if we have a spread, let's put you on the high end because right. you're going to feel better there. Right. And that doesn't mean that I'm taking testosterone, you know, for other reasons. It's, it's, it's a feel good thing. Is all of our bodies have male or, you know, women have male hormones and female hormones both going on like. And so that's like, don't be scared if that comes up. Um, also like thyroid medicine, they put me on thyroid medicine and it's been awesome. Like I feel physically so much better. And the biggest takeaway for me was that I, I knew that like when, when I was hormonal, it would take me really into a place that was super, super, super hard to manage because I didn't have the threshold and I know, ladies, you know what this means because it's like you have PMS and it's a big deal. Well, I like the most doctors were like, we'll just put you on Lexapro or we'll just put you on something and mask the symptoms. But that didn't help anything. And so what's great is like these little subtle changes and probably vitamins and um, the metformin for the insulin resistance. Like I feel amazing. And it's not. So it's my, what I'm trying to wrap up with all of this is there is help out there that can make drastic a drastic change in your life based on taking doing really small things you just have but you have to show up and be willing to do that and really look at that and i encourage you to just like sean said like oh my gosh yeah that question there there one other thought on this and then we can wrap it up i i want um to emphasize to people the the importance of the investment in this mm -hmm. Because this is something that's really, again, this is marketing 101. Like people think that it's, you hear over and over and over and over again, eating healthy is expensive, right? It's total bullshit. It's total, total, total bullshit. Um, there, again, I, I've never been 90 years old. I don't know what it's going to be like when I'm 90. But I know enough 90-year-old people and 80-year-old people and 70-year-old people that have gone through running themselves ragged and then they're paying for it in the later years sure. right i don't know where the hell i'm going to be you don't know where the hell you're going to be you don't know if you're going to live to 80 or 200 or fucking 70 it doesn't it, that's that's irrelevant what i'm talking about is i want right here right now the highest quality of life that i can get mm -hmm. i want the highest quality of life emotionally psychologically mentally physically financially i want the highest quality of life and so i want you guys to wrap your head around that that reality and be like what do i need to do to be able to have the highest quality of life mm -hmm. what do i have to do right now to ratchet up my sex life what do i have to learn what do i have to do what do i have to read i i want to ratchet up my body i want to know that i can take my body to peak physical condition and be there and stay there what does that look like what do i have to do like what do i have to do financially to be able to double triple quadruple my income like this entire conversation revolves around this quality of life that i'm excited about because i know that you and i are both in the same yep. space and sometimes it takes like where you're at being off a little bit to i don't say wake you back up but kind of go oh shit, haven't had my blood yeah. work done in a little bit and i'm mm -hmm. feeling a bit off like time to you know check mm -hmm. that back up um that's what this entire conversation revolves around is, is you yeah. ensuring that right here, right now, I don't know where I'm going to be in 50 years or 60 years. I know people that fucking never smoked, never drank, healthy as shit, that die of cancer, right? I know people that smoked for 50 fucking years that never had cancer, right? You have no clue. There's no rhyme or reason to where I'm going to be in 20 or 30 or 40 years. What I want to know is that I'm doing everything I can to have the highest quality of life now mm -hmm. right here right now my kids games tonight my kids games tomorrow our sex life now my businesses now my emotional clarity now my strength and vitality now yep. and so for for you and me both it's it's literally you know sometimes you run into that resistance and that wall you're like i'm feeling a little bit off i'm feeling a bit here go get your shit taken care of yeah. spend the money to do it it's a couple hundred dollars to be able to go figure out where you are even if you do it once a year make that a fucking priority Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love when I love when things in life step in and say, hey, I need your attention. Yep. You know, if it's your kids 
if you're is your kids saying something or if it's your finances behaving a certain way like these things will come up and just to get your attention and be grateful that they do you know a lot of people are like oh and they have this negative thing it's like i love when something itches enough to where i'm like okay yeah. i need to scratch that itch yeah. um one thing i will say is i know that we're gonna get a lot of feedback saying like well tell me what they gave you that's not what we're not going to sure. tell you what they gave Doesn't us matter. because we are not you you are not us there's that's not going to happen. So that's been a big thing. I, I would love to give you all types of answers, but I'm not that person. Right. Sean's not that person. Go to your doctor. So we're not, we're not going to give you the a only, list the of, only answer you need is, is the people that we get, that we go to. Yes. Right. Absolutely. What, what I take, I take testosterone, vitamin B, vitamin D, um, you know, uh, omegas, da, 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 the whole thing. You take all, you just mentioned a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't I take fucking, a lot of adrenal it stuff. Doesn't, yeah, like it doesn't three, matter, right? Yeah. What, what matters is that you get to the source and you get to the people mm -hmm. that can help you yeah. create your map. And that's the beautiful thing is it is. It's not a one size fits all. It's, right. fits all. it's not a, you just order what is off the menu. Like, no, right. this menu is made for you specifically. Yeah. And it's, and it's actually really exciting because like once it you have really that cool, blueprint, actually. I love blueprints though. I like, I love that roadmap. I love to see like, okay, this is a map about me and what I need. And that's amazing. So yeah. go and do that and invest in it for sure. Well, and, it, and, it, and it's fun because you start realizing how much control you have. Mm -hmm. A lot of people feel like they're out of control and they don't have control over their mind, over their body, over their weight, whatever, whatever. And once you get into this space, and that's one of the things that I love about it is I love going back and seeing where I'm at. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm feeling this way and, and it's literally like becoming so self-aware. You're like, you know, the last couple of months I felt this or mm -hmm. my sleep patterns have been this or my, my boners in the morning have been this or my <laughs> sex life has been this or my mental clarity has been this. And literally you go in and you can tweak these things. You can move the needle in these things. Yep. And it's not hokey pokey, you know, wishful thinking. It's fucking science. You're literally take, like checking where your levels are in your own fucking mm -hmm. body, which I hadn't done for 35 mm -hmm. fucking years. I didn't know any of that shit, right. right? So when it gets to that level, now it gets fun because you start programming things differently. You're yeah. like, you know what? I want to try this or let's try this or I want to do this. And you work with literally a medical professional, a fucking specialist yeah. to be able to do that. Yeah. So anyways. Anything else you want to say on this, baby? I'm happy my abs are back. I'm happy your abs are back. Yeah, they went away for a little while. And that's sexy. why I was, I was really fucking frustrated. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I work out so hard. What the hell? Come to find out, that's a, a, everything to do with being mm -hmm. insulin resistant. And also, now I can eat carbohydrates and they don't just mess me up. So there's so much freedom in this as well. Mm -hmm. I concur. And cookies in your future. Oh, <laughs> if you know, in my future. My I'm going to need a sugar resistant thing. To, <laughs> that's the path we go, babe. <laughs> Guys, uh, take care of yourselves for real. Take care of your mind. Take care of your body. Uh, make it a priority, man. There's literally nothing. I can't think of anything that I could tell you to go invest money in. Invest your hard earned money than that would be more important than your body. Yeah. I mean, I, I, the more I invest in my body and my mind, the more money I seem to make, the better my life seems to be, the better my sex life is, the better my relationships are, the better everything is. The more porn videos you make outside. I don't know. Babe, we going back to the that? The world is your oyster. Now you, feel, now you feel comfortable talking about that? You can't say porn video, babe. That sounds like bat. It's our own sex tapes. You judged tapes. it. Sex it's not ju porn judging. Video. It's like, you want to call it porn? What's is it porn? What's the definition of porn? I don't know. What is it? Probably I don't, having I've sex never, on I've tape. I've never Googled <laughs> porn and seen what the porn definition is. Will you Google porn real quick? <laughs> no, don't, because some shit will pop up. Yeah, wait till your wife checks her history on that. Be like, why were you looking up porn? No, I look up the word porn. Yeah, right. You were looking up porn. No, the word porn. I don't know what the fuck Did the definition is. Did you hear what is, I had to do a, a report in college? And my teacher had me do it on bisexuality and animals. And I remember thinking like, if school like shuts down my internet access for bestiality, we have a problem. And she agreed that like we were good. Just popped in my mind. You did a paper on what? Bisexuality and animals and why it serves its purpose. Yeah, yeah we don't I need, to, we don't need to go down that rabbit hole. I just now. thought it would That's make everybody laugh. Yeah, you got something for me? <laughs> what, what is, is it? it? The depiction of erotic behavior as in pictures or writing intended to cause sexual excitement. The depiction the of erotic behaviors, behaviors. <laughs> intended to cause sexual excitement. Intended to cause sexual excitement. Well, then, in that case, <laughs> I've got a lot of porn on my phone because I got pictures of your ass that cause erotic <laughs> excitement. This is why we and, have passcodes on our phones. And there you go. And there and you go. <laughs> all those pictures are floating around in some cloud that some fucking funny guy's watching right now. Going, wow. A whole lot of booty. <laughs> Look at that ass. Uh, okay. Well, anything else, dear? 
I think we're good. Think Ladies we're good. and gentlemen, thank you for listening to the podcast. We love you. We appreciate you. Please share. Please like. Please comment um, on this. We really, truly appreciate it. And we'll have a beautiful you. day. Have a we'll really beautiful time. day. Bye. Bye.